Super excited today to show you a proof of the trigonometric angle sum formulas using linear algebra. So if you know some linear algebra, you're gonna love this proof. So here we have the two by two matrix of a rotation. Check out my video on my channel where I explain very rigorously and clearly how to derive this matrix. But I'm gonna summarize that video here and I encourage you to check it out after watching this one to really understand it. But here we have, this is the matrix of a rotation of theta degrees counterclockwise in the complex plane or in R2. And the idea is that the first column of the matrix is what the transformation does to the vector one zero, which is the first standard basis vector. And we know that if you rotate that vector by theta degrees, you get a point on the unit circle whose x and y coordinates are cosine theta and sine theta respectively. That is by definition of cosine and sine. That's how they're defined because here your triangle is a hypotenuse of one. So your x coordinate has to be cos and your y coordinate has to be sine. And similarly, the second column of the matrix is what your transformation does to the second basis vector zero one which is then going to be, basically it's going to be um, this point which is going to be co cosine of theta plus 90 comma sine of theta plus 90. But that actually winds up to be minus sine theta cosine theta. So that is the second column of your rotation matrix. Now once you've digested this, we're going to see Euler's formula in action and it's so beautiful. So the idea is that what is, not Euler's formula, sorry, the trigonometric angle sum formulas. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to compose two rotations. It is pretty evident that if you compose a rotation by theta degrees with a rotation by phi degrees, you're going to get a rotation by theta plus phi degrees, right? Rotate by theta degrees, rotate by phi degrees, it's theta plus phi degrees. So this is going to equal to the rotation by theta plus phi degrees. But now let's do matrix multiplication to see what's, what's going on here. So matrix multiplication, we're going to get cosine theta sine theta minus sine theta cosine theta and I want you to follow along here, you know, play around with the matrix multiplication. Cosine phi, sine phi, minus sine phi, cosine phi. And now if you multiply these two out, what are you going to get? We're going to get, um, basically it's going to be cosine squared theta. So it's going to be, co sorry, not cosine squared, cosine theta, cosine phi, minus sine theta, sine phi. Dot product of the first row with the first column. So minus sine theta, sine phi. Um, and in fact, I'm not going to work out um, everything. I'm just going to work out now the second, okay? The second uh, entry here. I'm not going to work out the whole matrix. It's not going to be needed. We're then going to get sine theta um, cosine phi plus cosine theta sine phi, okay? Dot product of the second row with the first column. So plus cosine theta sine phi. And of course, it's a two by two matrix. So you're going to get some entries here. It won't matter because we know that is R theta plus phi. All we want is a trig angle sum formulas. And we can actually figure out what the other column is anyway. So here we're going to get cosine of theta plus phi. We know that R theta plus phi by this formula right here, we know that it's going to be cosine theta plus phi comma sine theta plus phi in the first column. Okay, so it's going to be sine theta plus phi in the first column. And therefore, you're going to get, if you just compare the two first columns, you get the trig angle sum formulas. You get that cosine theta plus phi is cosine theta co cosine phi minus sine theta sine phi. That's just by comparing these two entries. And then you also get sine theta plus phi is going to be sine theta cos phi plus cos theta sine phi by comparing those two entries. So that's all there is to it. A beautiful application of linear algebra, finding the rotation matrix. Check out my video on the rotation matrix, super popular. It really explains how to think about this better, okay? So if you're a little bit stuck with this explanation, you want to see it really dissected and understood in detail, check it out. It'll help you master linear algebra as well as have a complete mastery of this proof so you can share with friends and family this super cool way of understanding the trig angle sum formulas, which are hard, right? If you try to draw them with triangles, it's just so complicated. I don't even want to think about it, but this proof makes it all easy. And I want to thank my friend Jonathan. He, um, this is a known proof, but he told me this proof. I mean, this is something that uh, he's taught his students. And um, so I want to thank him for that and thank him for this suggestion. It's really beautiful. And so thanks to Jonathan. And I'm super excited to see you in the next video. Wish you all the best. And please check out my channel for math content at all levels across all topics. Um, I'm doing elite math education at high school, college, and beyond, as well as before that. So there's something for everyone. I want to change lives through math education. I want to reach people who don't even have internet access eventually. But I'm starting small with YouTube and going to go big. I'll see you soon.